Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Sichamba Jacob. Today we we'll try to look at uh, a very important topic. You may not know that uh, this topic is important to you, to me, and to everyone in this world. Okay, the topic of the day is sequence and uh, series. So under sequence and series, we're going to look at arithmetic sequence. There are so many types of uh, sequences, but our focus will be on arithmetic sequence. And uh, thereafter, we'll try to do some examples. And in our examples, we'll try to answer 20, uh, 20 GCE paper one question, the exam question which came, and uh, 20, 19 GCE exam question. All right, so uh, without wasting much of your, your time, let's try to discuss what a sequence is. A sequence is an ordered set of numbers where a pattern exists. So um, a sequence, I'm repeating this, is simply uh, an ordered set of numbers where a pattern exists. So an example would be 1, 2,3,4,5, dash, uh, dot, 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 three dots, which shows that numbers are still going. So this is a sequence, okay? Another example may be 2, comma, four, comma, eight, comma, sixteen. So this is another example of a sequence. All right, so under the sequences, there are things we call terms. So the terms, what are the terms under sequences? So using a simple definition, we can say a term is a number in a sequence. A number in a sequence. For example, uh, this here is a term, and this here is a term. It's a term, a term. Even here, term, 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 term. So, in the second order of sequence, I'll say this is a second. This is the first sequence, second sequence. So if I say which number is on a third position or which is our third term, our third term in this case will be 8. This is our first term, second term, third term, fourth term. So, and uh, what we are doing here or the idea we are using to identify the numbers which are here is the term. Like at this term, there is this number. At this term, there is this number. So a term is a number in a sequence. Okay, let's try to, before we, we go uh, very, very far, let's try to talk about uh, uh, the types of uh, sequences. There are so many types of sequences. There is uh, what we call arithmetic sequence, geometric, harmonic. There are so many sequences, okay? So to say, but our focus will be on arithmetic sequence. So what is an arithmetic sequence? So, uh, Using uh, a simple definition, we may say an arithmetic sequence is a sequence which has uh, a common, common difference. It has uh, the first term.
it has the first term it has uh, the n it has the n okay so but mostly we we'll focus on these two things it has the common difference it has the, the first term okay and this same arithmetic progression has got formulas which you are supposed to use when doing the calculations so for example if they ask you to find the term like find the, the, the term which is on this position so use this formula this is the formula for a term so you just have to memorize this formula it's supposed to be in your head in case they ask you to find the sum use this formula So these two formulas are very, very useful when it comes to arithmetic progression. Okay, I'll explain uh, on the formulas, on these formulas, as we try to answer the questions or we try to answer the examples. So, uh, I'll start with uh, this example. This is, an, uh, this is an exam question which came in 20, 2019. So, in this uh, question, they have given us the sequence over here and they ask us to find the 17th term. So, before we can do the calculation on this one, let's try to understand there. Yeah? The first formula, this formula, because for us to find a term, we are supposed to use this formula, the first term. So it says T sub N is equal to A plus C, open bracket, N minus 1, close D. So what does this A mean? A means the first term. If you have a sequence like this, 1, 3, 3, 5, seven comma da, uh, dot 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 so if you have a sequence like this one okay and then uh they want you to find maybe the next term you can use this formula but the first thing is to understand what is our a here our a is the first term the term which is at the beginning here so in this case our a is one and then our n you check the position, our N, the position, because this is the first term, second term, third term, fourth term, fifth term. If they're asking you to find the fifth term, it means on N you'll be putting five. And then D is the common difference. Like I said here, common difference. So how do you find the common difference? You just get the number, which is to your right side. Okay? So in this case, between these two numbers, the number which is your right uh, side, you subtract the number which is uh, to your left side. So in this case, we have two here. Hopefully you are able to see. We have two. Our common difference is two. We can get even these two numbers. You say five minus three to give you two. Or seven minus five to give you two. So the, our D is uh, two. So let's, uh, let's try to answer now our, our question here. We try to solve this question. So as, as I said earlier on that this question came in 2019. So since we have a sequence here and they're asking us to find the term. So the formula for finding the term is T sub N is equal to A plus N minus 1 T. <clears throat> so uh we'll say t sub on n we're going to put 17 because that's the term we are we're finding or we have been asked to find a remember i said the first term so what is the first term here is negative 10 plus n 
is what we are finding here, what we have been asked in the question 17th term. And then D, D is the common difference, which is Z, 3. How did I find 3? You just get two numbers, either these or these two or these. You subtract the one which is to your left from the one which is to your right. For example, I'll get negative 7 here minus negative 10 which is this side, this minus this one. So it will be like this. This will be plus 10. This will be positive. And then negative 7 plus 10, it will be 3. The answer will be equal to 3. So our D is 3. That's how I found this 3. And then you, you, you do your algebra here. So board mass, we start with what is inside the brackets. So it will be 16 and 3 here. Thereafter, you can uh, work out what is here. It will give us 48. And then after that, we work out negative 10 plus 48 it will be equal to 38 so answer for a is 38 now we go to b the formula we need to remember it for sum this is a uh, sum is equal to open bracket 2a plus n minus 1 d n over 2 so hopefully you're able to see the formula so in the question they have said we find the sum of the first 20 okay terms so on n we put 20 And then A, we know our first term is negative 10 plus our N is what? 20. What did have asked us to find? Our D, we know is 3. Okay? And then our N here will put 20 over 2. Hopefully, you are able to see nicely. So, we are looking for the sum of 20 terms. So, we can start from here. 2 times negative 10, it will be negative 20, plus here, 20 minus uh, 1, the answer will be equal to 19, multiply by 3 here, and then here, 2 can go into 20, how many times? 10 times, so we have something like this, and then from here, we can say sum of 20 terms, negative 20 plus we multiply 19 by uh, 3 the answer will be equal to 57 multiply by 10 the 10 which is outside here and then sum of 20 terms is equal to here we can add this negative 20 plus 57 the answer will be equal to 37 times 10, the 10 which is outside here. So the sum of 20 terms will be equal to 370. This is the answer. Once you multiply these two, the answer will be equal to 370. All right, so we're done with example number one. We go to example number two. So this example number two, <clears throat> this is an exam question which came in 20, uh, 2020. All right, so uh, on this question, they have asked us to find the common difference. They have given us uh, the 11th term, which is 43, and the first term, 
they want us to find the common difference. So since we are talking about terms, we use the formula for term, which is uh, T sub N is equal to A plus open bracket N minus 1, close bracket, multiply by D. So they are asking us to find the, the common difference, and we know the common difference is D. They have given us the... 11th term. So the 11th term they have said is what? It's 43. We we'll put it where T sub N is. And our first term, they have said the first term is 3. So first term is 3, which is A. Plus N, we're talking about 11th term minus 1. Multiply by D. So we can solve here. We just use, uh, follow the rules of algebra. We solve we have something like this. Okay, 11 minus uh, 1 is uh, 10. And then we can subtract 3 from both sides. So it will look like this. Thereafter, well, 40 is equal to 10D. You divide by 10, divide by 10. You find that D, the value of D, which is the common difference, is equal to 4. Then the next example... I mean, the next question here, they are saying we find the, the fourth the term. So we still use the same formula. Since we're talking about the term, we use the same formula. Okay. And uh, what they're asking us to find is fourth term. So we'll put the four here. It's equal to our A, we know it's three, plus our N now before. We're talking about fourth term minus one. Our common difference we just found it for here. And then fourth term is equal to three plus four minus uh, one. The answer will be equal to three. And here we have four. Multiply by four. So fourth term is equal to three. When you multiply here, we have uh, twelve. Then we work out nicely here, the answer will be equal to 15. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and tell more people to subscribe so that they can also be learning what you are learning. And remember to click the notification bell so that whenever I post something, you are notified, you are not left behind. Thank you.